Hello everyone, very warm welcome to all of you on the platform of KSG India. My name is Akhilesh and I am faculty of geography, geography optional over here. Today I am going to discuss about the sunspot cycle, solar flare, solar storm, solar maxima and solar minima. What exactly these phenomena are? In the previous video, you might have understood the coronal mass ejection and after coronal mass ejection, I said to you that the gases containing mass get pulled back onto the sun's surface. They have created the cooler patches on the photosphere. These cooler patches are very much visible from the earth also, indeed by using telescope. These cooler patches are called as sunspot and this sunspot phenomena is a cyclic phenomena. It was first reported as a cyclic phenomena by Samuel Henrik Schwabe. Samuel Henrik Schwabe. Sunspot cycle. We are talking about. Samuel Henrik Swabe first reported it in 1843, conclusively reported it. That means he observed entire life there is change on the sun's surface and after that he concluded that this sunspot cycle that means formation of sunspots on the sun's surface is a cyclic process and it takes almost 11 years to be completed. Eleven years to be completed. The sunspot cycle. And the sunspot cycle is going through various phases. Various phase means there are two prominent phases. One is solar maxima and solar minima. Let me explain this solar maxima and solar minima. In solar maxima phase there will be more coronal mass ejection there will be more sunspots bigger sunspots larger number sunspots and earth is likely to receive more solar storms in solar maxima phase what I said to you in solar maxima phase, there are more number of sunspot, their size is also going to be bigger, bigger, more coronal mass ejection, more solar activity is taking place. So, we will find larger number of sunspots large number of sunspots are going to be reported in case of solar maxima. While in solar minima, the sunspot size of sunspot as well as their number is going to be less. So, in solar maxima phase, this, this represents solar maxima and here this represents solar minima. In solar minima, you can see uh, less number of sunspot, less number of sunspots, less coronal mass ejection and less solar storms. Basically, this solar minima and solar maxima is also called as solar activity. So, maximum solar activity and minimum solar activity. What do you mean by maximum solar activity here? Large, larger sunspot. That means the sunspot size is going to be larger. Large number of sunspot. Why? Because there is more coronal mass ejection. Okay. 
and that's why earth is likely to receive more solar storm samuel henry swabe have observed this pattern on the sun and he said that this pattern is going to be completed in 11 year and he take that 11 year a period time period for a complete solar cycle or sun spot cycle if we plot the number of sun spot during this cycle with respect to the time we are going to have a graph which i am going to discuss with you like this so if we plot this sun spot cycle solar activity on y axis solar activity means coronal mass ejection on y axis and the time on x axis it is certainly in form of uh, in terms of years and uh, here solar activity in terms of numbers how many numbers of sun spots are going to be there so we are going to have a graph that goes like this this is how the graph will go where this lowest point represent solar minima this represent solar minima and here it is representing solar maxima either take one solar minima to another solar minima this is again solar minima the time is going to be 11 years so this is one complete sun spot cycle which is going from one solar minima solar maxima to another solar minima this is also solar minima then the next cycle start from the solar minima then solar maxima then solar minima again it will be of same 11 years so each graph is representing single sun spot cycle and it was reported by samuel henry swabe right now the 25th sun spot cycle is going on 25th sun spot cycle that means before that 24th was there aur uske pehle 23rd raha hoga to ye jab se dhoonda gaya hai tab se isko hum 11 saal mein dekhte hain acha again we, uh, if we see this 25th sun spot cycle it was started way back in 2020 december so it was started from 2020 december and it is going to end by 20 20 30 1 that is what december so this is the time and what about the 24th cycle it was started in 2009 and ended in 2020 this is how the dates are going so if you see this this solar minima in 2009 obviously there will be 2010 this is what 2011 this is 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 fine so if you see the minima phase you can take 2012 this up to this phase there is less solar activity less sun spot and hence the number of sun spot is going to be uh, lower and this phase is going to be called as minima phase so from 2009 to 2012 we can have this um, solar minima phase up to here then 2013 to 2016 uh, this is something we, which is representing solar maxima phase try to see this solar maxima phase the number of sun spot is going to be high more coronal mass ejection is taking place from 2013 to 2016 17 so this is what solar max phase maxima phase where you are going to have more coronal mass ejection more 
सन स्पॉट साइकिल फाइन अगेन देर इज मिनिमा फेज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम सेवनटीन टू ट्वेंटी अगेन यू आर गोइंग टू हैव इन मिनिमा फेज यू आर गोइंग टू हैव लेस लेस नंबर ऑफ सन स्पॉट्स एंड लेस कोरोनल मास इजेक्शन दैट मीन्स लो सोलर एक्टिविटी एंड दिस विल ऑल्सो गो लाइक दैट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर टू ट्वेंटी सेवन अगेन दिस इज गोइंग टू बी वॉट मैक्सिमा फेज बाई ट्वेंटी फोर टू ट्वेंटी सेवन एंड दिस मैक्सिमा फेज विच इज गोइंग टू स्टार्ट इज समथिंग विच इज हैव काइंड ऑफ डेलीटेरियस इम्पैक्ट ऑन द अर्थ इन्वायरमेंट एज वेल एज अदर आस्पेक्ट ओवर देयर सो दिस दिस सोलर मैक्सिमा फेज इज गोइंग टू हैव मोर सोलर स्टॉम्स ऑन द अर्थ सर्फेस एंड यू नो द अर्थ इज गोइंग टू हैव मैग्नेटोस्फियर Earth is having a magnet, so this solar storm is going to be deflected towards the pole and causing some kind of damage. And those damages can be seen in form of aurora. It can be seen in form of disruption in telecommunication, disruption in satellite communication, GPS. It can also intense and uh, solar storms can also lead to grid failure, power grid failure. It can lead to disruption in uh, air traffic control so these all are going to be the part because of uh, these all are going to be impact because of the solar storms especially in solar maxima phase this solar maxima phase again going to be very important for the reason because we already doing global warming at large scale earlier this extra heat which is given to the earth's environment in form of solar maxima was adjusted but nowadays we already have increased our global temperature so any extra heat is going to have its repercussions what are those repercussions how these solar storms are going to be uh, going to reach over earth surface and affecting earth will be discussed in next video i hope you understand sun spot cycle solar maxima solar minima thank you very much